I went and looked at the program of a conference and I read some of the titles. Learn to take care of your own brain and to manage your emotional volatility. Another one, how can couples learn to shape each other's brain and promote mental health? Is all of this doable? What's amazing about what you just said, we have had a surge in the information flow for neuroscience. We know more now than we've ever known, and it's, and it's kind of exponentially growing. Um, but we're not keeping up with, with development of things that are actually helping people. But we are learning a lot about the brain. <laughs> but that doesn't help me in my relationship. We need to find a way to come <laughs> back and apply this. That's where we, we've, we've, we've stalled out, I think. It's not about how similar our brains are. We cannot look at one brain and say, this guy is going to be really good with this woman or the opposite. It's somehow in the behavior, which is a much, much more complex thing. So neuroscience not really doing well for, for helping people in that realm yet. The Feeling Brain, exploring the neural basis of emotion. Frontier science for the digital revolution.